Maybe right there? This thing, yeah, right there. That should be good. <laughs> Anyways, okay, hi guys. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel, Layla. Layla, introduce yourself. No way. Introduce yourself. No. Okay. This is Layla. You can't see her. Cassius. Okay. I'm asleep. Uh, so I'm gonna show you my a uh, makeup tutorial. I really don't know what to call it. What should I call it? I don't know. Like my everyday makeup wear. That's kind of like, oh my god, like, you know, like, be clear, man. What are you talking about? This sounds like such like a white, like, a makeup tutorial thing. Like, this is my everyday look. This is my I will snatch your weave look. That's better. This is my I'm gonna cut all of you fake hoes look. Looking, uh, looking, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Using the 3502 by Morphe. Use code Jose at checkout for 10% off. That's not true. <laughs> no, I'm not an affiliate. <laughs> <laughs> Morphe. Hit me up. No, but um, I'm going to use this palette. So let's get in the video. It's, um, oh, this is going to be all affordable makeup because a bitch is broke. I'm going to start off by using the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. Is it focusing? I don't know. It's a yes. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like such a big guru. Um, it's the blue one. It's the hydrating plus smooth. They can read. Probably. Yeah, but... And then, uh, this is such a good, like, smoothing slash blurring slash, like, pore filling primer. It's the Maybelline Baby Skin wait, wait, wait. Instant Pore Eraser Primer. Maybe she's born with it. Maybelline. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use that and my problem area, which is everywhere. Everywhere. And then, oh, before I moisturize, you always wanna make sure you moisturize. <laughs> Even if you have oily, dry, normal combo skin. Um, what's next? Eyebrows. I like to do my eyebrows next. Oh my god, we're doing some eyebrow thingy. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing my eyebrow thing. Oh. I myself. Look at my Look underwear. My room, stupid. No, I put it in my bag. No, you didn't. I got your bag. Oh, then go check. No, I'm not getting up. Can you go check, please? Oh. It's part of my makeup tutorial. And I can't get up and leave. Yes, you can't get up and leave. Oh my god. This is so bad. We should have planned everything out before. Intermittent. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Cousins. Cousins. Okay. Let's, let's like focus. Okay. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Okay, so I'm taking the Ardell Dark Brown Brow Pomade. And the style Dark Brown. Blue. And I'm taking this little flat brush with a spoolie at the end. But basically, you just un you outline your brow first. If you have bad eyebrows, then sis, I feel bad for you. But like mine are already like naturally like fluky, so yes, they're sparse. So yours. But I like to do my eyebrows after I put the primer, so the primer can soak into the skin and like do what it's supposed to do like you feel me those brick eyebrows ain't cute he's basic so we're gonna come back with both of my eyebrows done and i'll show you how i carve them out that's not how you that's not how you drive that's what you cut in the head today what never seen that show no i've never seen that show cut in the head 
Okay, so I came with my eyebrows done. They obviously look a little bit messy, but that's okay, because we're gonna clean them up with concealer. I'm taking the Superstay Better Skin Concealer by Maybelline. And then I'm taking this flat brush. For cleaning up, oh my god, for cleaning up the brows, you go all in that star mess. Like my life. You go, <laughs> <laughs> you go under. Like right, like where your brow hairs are growing. I know you follow the arch. So literally, you have like those like squid on my brows. If you have like no arch, then you just follow the natural shape of your brow. This just makes them look more snatched. And we don't, we want, we want snatched eyebrows. You, you feel? Yes. Then for the top, you're just gonna like wanna like do the same and then connect it to the bottom and it creates that very sharp line. Do you see that? And then you just blend this out with your finger. Or you can use a, a blender, a sponge, whatever. Oh my use. god, Jose. Oops. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna see that. We're gonna cut that out. <laughs> we're gonna um, that. We'll be right back with my eyebrows done and then we're gonna have like one more step to the eyebrows. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Oh. Now I'm gonna take the Maybelline, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in 05 Fair. I accidentally bought this too late because I ordered it off of Ulta and I didn't know it was gonna be that white. But I still use it because. It costs money. Yeah, it costs money. Um, so, as you can tell, my eyebrows are snatched. Yeah. You barely have eyebrows. So, I like to do my I eyes first before I do my face. Any other part of my face. Because, just in case there's fallout or anything. So, like I said, we're going to be using the 3502 palette by Morphe. Great. Great shade range. <laughs> She's a beauty guru. So, we're just gonna start off by going with this. This fluffy brush. Ooh, you have polka dots. That's polka dots. And I'm gonna take this shade, this shade right here, as my first transition shade. And you just wanna put this. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm like on the floor. Okay, so you, it on the floor, put the chair behind you. you can, oh my god, you're gonna want to put this right here, like right above the crease, it's and good. it's gonna help the other shades blend better. Oh, you see, you can leave it there, you can build it up, I'm gonna leave it there. I mean, I don't want to go too crazy with this look. Next, we're taking this... What shade should we use next? No. You go from light to dark. Um, We're going to use this shade right here. On that same brush. Because we just love using the same brush to blend. I'm going to put that just slightly lower that is the crease by the way we're gonna take another blending brush we're just gonna oh god just gonna blend those two shadows together orange right here these two actually can you wait? You don't use sparkly ones as on the blending brush that we just used. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and the inner corner. That is not the same right now. It is. Okay, so I mean, it's pretty easy for me to blend with these shadows. I don't need to take long, like 
certain beauty gurus because we don't have time for that. So next we're gonna go in with this really bold red. Tap yeah. off the excess and maybe just a tad bit of this color. And we're gonna put that in the same place where we put the oranges, the two orange shades. So we're gonna So you're just gonna wanna keep blending. You can use different brushes, but honestly, I don't see a need to use different brushes. I just use whichever brush I feel like using. I'm using the, a different blending brush because we use like a whole nother color. Like for the oranges, I can use the same brush. For reds, I use a different brush, but the same for any other color. You really don't need like that much brushes. Like if you're a starter, all you need is a blending brush, a packer brush, a shader brush and I think that's probably it and the, probably a pencil brush too but you honestly don't need that much like how many beauty gurus have it I'm going in with this darker red right here and applying that closest to the tear duct and the outer V I'm gonna go in with this small little pencil brush we're gonna go in with this shade right here to add more definition. And we're just gonna add that back like closer to the outer V and the tear duct. Maybe even go in with the shade on the bottom of that. It's like the closest one to the black, but it's not a black. And you're just gonna add that there to add more definition and then blend that out we're gonna go back in with that red shade and mix it in with the next shade you're gonna apply this all over the lid then you're gonna add you're gonna mix these, this one and this one. Just apply that to the lid. You can wet the brush or whatever you want, but this is fine for me. This is very simple, very, you know, um, just going to get groceries. Um, you even put on makeup when you go to get groceries. Picking up the kids from school look. Why are you doing that? Um, very simple. Oh, let me blend this out a little bit more. Um, but we're gonna come back with the other eye completed and then we're gonna move on to the face. Next, so I finished both eyes. I'm not gonna add falsies today because I'm kind of feeling the no falsies look. I also don't have falsies. And since my face is already primed, I'm gonna go right in. I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer oh. in the shade 03 Light Beige. But, since this is a full coverage enough for me, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline 24-Hour Foundation. Um, I think this is their Super Stay. But it's the, full, the new full coverage foundation with the white cap. It's good, it's just, I bought the wrong shade. Um, this is too pink. Like, it has a pink undertone. But these two mixed together. The endless, the full coverage-ness is just like giving me like, vibes. Um. Applying this with the concealer brush. Well, the flat, the flat brush, just like everywhere on my face. Taking a Real Techniques Damp Beauty Sponge. I'm gonna buff that in. Do you see how full coverage this is? It looks like foundation to me. <laughs> Do you not see how full coverage this is? Yeah. Like, this could cover up my depression. Right, Leela? I mean, <laughs> you need a little bit more. Are you saying this is not full coverage enough? 
It's not enough to cover your depression. That means we need more. That means we need like a few years of therapy. That means we need a few layers of foundation. <laughs> and do you see the 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 shade match is like there, so Stop. I'm surprised you can tell. Oh yeah, in case you guys didn't know, Leila is color deficient. Don't don't bring me into this. Just putting that out there. So and you can leave it here if you want. But I'm gonna go in with concealer because I went to sleep at six in the morning last night and I woke up at nine. And then woke me up at nine. <laughs> yeah, because my parents went to New York and Niagara Falls. Not in Niagara Falls. I said and Niagara Falls. <laughs> they but went into Niagara Falls. <laughs> I wish. Wow. No, <laughs> I'm playing. Um, but um and so I was like, Layla, my parents said I can spend the night. And so here we are. And so I'm just putting a little bit of concealer. That's not a little bit. I'm gonna put some here, here, and here. Okay, so I'm just blending that in with the same beautiful. I like to leave the concealer on my nose for a little bit. Yeah, because you know, why not? Because it creates like sort of like it gets dry and it gets like the most full coverage. What happens if you? And then right after to prevent creasing, I'm gonna go in with that same Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder. And the shade 05 to prevent any creasing and to set the concealer. It's not moving. So I'm just going in with the other. Where the fuck is my hair? Where'd you put it? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pounce that in. We're not baking because I have dry skin and that just like suffocates me. But I'm into that, you know? I'm into people choking me. Stop. <laughs> um, but no. Um, if you have dry skin, you can bake certainly, but it's gonna feel tight on your skin, and it's gonna feel like it's gonna look too cakey. So I just press it in to ensure it doesn't move all day. Even though I'm not even gonna go anywhere after this. You're just gonna wash it off. Big facts, and then I put it everywhere else where I put concealer. And then, since I ran out of my airspun powder, you can use that, that's a good translucent powder. But since I ran out and need to go buy one, I'm just gonna use that same powder and tap it everywhere. Wait, nope. You have to go to a thrift store. Dummy. That means I could just shop in your closet. <coughs> <laughs> Stop. I will smack your hand. <laughs> I don't even need a mirror for this. Kylie Jenner is quaking. I don't think she is. She's doing just fine in her, like, what? Billion dollar mansion? You know, with other billionaires, I don't think, I don't think you're quaking her. Ah. Now we're gonna contour in bronze. this because I just saw that. So for contour, I'm going to take my NYX contour kit and my Butter Bronzer by Physician Formula. <laughs> Physician Formula yeah, in the shade. <laughs> in the shade Sunkissed Bronzer. I'm going to take this little brush. It's like a mini, like... It's like a mini size of this. But I like this for contouring. You can use a fan brush too. But I'm just gonna use this shade, a cool light, cool shade. And we're gonna put that like in between our cheekbones and our regular cheeks. And we're just gonna blend that in. And so, the forehead too. Should I do my nails? I mean, I need, I never really do. No, you should not do your nails. 
Oh. A jawline. And though it's non-existent. Yep. Butter bronzer. I like that name. Smell it. Very nice. So we're just gonna bronze. Nothing too crazy. You know, it's almost spring in New Jersey. I'm pretty sure it is spring. I mean Big facts. This is spring. It was raining and then snowing yesterday at the same time. And now it's all sunny. That's lame. We're bronzed. Make it last by Milani. Think of like Melania Trump and it makes me sad. Just keep spraying you. Setting. <laughs> 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 That's a lot. She's cute. Setting spray really helps to melt the products into your skin and make it look almost as airbrushed as possible it doesn't make it look like you just put 15 layers of powder on you know it just sucks everything into place did you spray it directly into your eyes no i sprayed it directly into my mouth eyes now we're gonna Boy, go on to cool. highlight uh, i have a few highlights so i'm gonna use this elf highlight it's really good but it's very subtle for those subtle days and this is in the shade mm -hmm. sunset glow I can see the shade once you open it. So we're just gonna hit. <laughs> At first, <laughs> I like to tap it in first. Because if you. Well, because my face is so wet with setting spray. If you brush it on, it looks streaky. So at first, I like to pat that in. Oh, should I use the technique Jacqueline Hill uses? I saw one of her don't, videos. Don't you dare. You can't so she it. uses oh a God. beauty blender. And she taps into her highlight. Don't take her thing. And she presses it in. Uh, you, um, Jacqueline Hill, I don't know what you'd be doing over there, but... I know. Get the cool towards me. Now we're gonna take this BH Cosmetics. I remember that. Spot. No, you used the blue one. The I bought another thing. one. Oh my god, why do you have so many? Because they're good. Anyways, I'm using the Spotlight Highlight Palette in. It's like the gold one, not the like crazy pink and blue colors. But I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna use this little brush. Did they see my mirror? I saw that you broke your mirror. My friend broke my mirror because she looked into mirror. it and she broke it. So I'm gonna take the shade Dream and the shade Glow. This one is like a, for like a deeper skin tone, but I like deeper skin tone highlights on me because when you look straight, it doesn't like look like you have like a streak of highlight. It like looks like your skin. But when you turn, it's like... And this one is like a gold, like a white gold champagne color. Okay, I'm gonna take this little precise thing, brush. I'm gonna use that and mix these three. I'm gonna use that to highlight my nose. Ooh, oh, yes. This gonna be a really oh. long video. And I'm gonna use that to highlight my inner corners. Tear ducks. My inner corners. Your tear ducks. You're a hater. I know. And the bra bone as well. And now we're gonna take Milani Luminoso, the most iconic blush from the drugstore. It's probably in the drawer. You're right. I mean, it's probably somewhere off stage. Not in and the drawer. And we're gonna take Milani Luminoso. This is very subtle, but it's also very shiny. And we'll add the glow. Oh my god. Don't hit it so hard. Beautiful. And we're gonna apply that to the 
It was on my cheeks just to add some a wash of color back into my face so you know we don't look like we're dead or like I don't know and I just like adding it like right here to add like that sunburn look <sighs> you look very moist oh <laughs> stop I'm gonna take this Milani color statement lip liner in the shade 03 nude and we're gonna outline my lips with that And now we're gonna take the lips, the liquid matte lipstick from e.l.f. These are really good. I really recommend them and they're only $5. This is the shade. This is the shade Prayer Line. And now we're gonna add some mascara. Jesus, man. If you don't like it, you can leave. I can't leave. The shade. And we're gonna be done with the look after mascara. Thank God. Okay, these eyelashes are weird, so I always have to go in with a spoolie to comb them out because I don't know what the hell happened. Oh, I remember. I was in like seventh grade and I accidentally cut them. Oops. How did we you don't. accidentally cut them? Because I was trimming my eyebrow hairs, and I was Why? Like, because... Aren't, good, aren't like long ones a, like a good thing? My Is... eyebrow hairs, they got out of place. Okay, so we're going to do just a quick little, little lower lash line moment. Going in with the contour palette, we're going to take this shade. We're just going to apply that in the lower lash line. And blend that out. I find that reds... And browns, well, I, my eyes are weird. They're like brown, but they're like green. So I find that this, like, it's called hazel. these colors, these you know colors. And then I'm also going to bring this into my nose contour because, but anyways, I find that these colors look more suiting for my skin color. Not my skin color, my eye color. Taking another one of those same brushes, but just. I had I bought three of these for no reason. Going back into the Morphe palette, we're gonna take that red color, not this one, this one. We're gonna apply that to the lower lash line. And just blend that out. But I put a little bit of that mascara onto my eyebrow hairs because I ran out of eyebrow gel. And I didn't need to buy a new one. But, I mean, my hair's black, so no one was gonna really notice. Just applying a nice coat of lower lash mascara. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just like a little, a little moment that we're having here. Just like, look at this. This is like literally my go-to glam look. Like, I don't care what I'm wearing, but I'm always wearing this. Yeah. So, thank you for enjoying this. Now, all of these products are affordable. Most of them are drugstore except the palette that I use. And by drugstore, I mean anywhere that's like a CVS or a Walmart or a Walgreens. The eyeshadow palette and that one highlight palette, but that one's like... 18 bucks and it's good and it's blinding so i recommend it you can buy it at ulta or at bhcosmetics.com i know they have the 3502 on ulta's website along with a f oh my god along with a few other products and you can order it at morphe too you can use any other youtubers affiliate codes like 
James or Thomas Halbert, Thomas Halberts. Literally, you can just search up a famous beauty guru and use theirs. But I hope you liked this tutorial because we snatched some leaves. Oh my god. We snatched some leaves and this took a long time to edit. This will probably just be like a 15 minute thing. No, it won't. But no, it won't. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, JK. No, I really don't care. But yeah if you want to subscribe go ahead if you want to follow me on any social media go ahead it's in the description Gashes. Layla. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to eat i want italian okay you or you want chinese no okay <laughs> it's shrimp operator fine. Mm, no. What do you want then? Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, I barely saw that the lighting was horrible. I'm sorry. But just deal with it. Like, I'm not a YouTuber. I just made that because everyone's asking for a, a tutorial. I don't know why I'm doing all this. But, um, yeah. Um, bye.